So we're here at Arm Techcon, so we just had, there was an event right here. So what happened? Okay, so today uh, we had uh, a lot of speakers from the ecosystem uh, present their views on Arm. Uh, we had uh, guys from uh, uh, Oracle uh, representing Java. We had guys from Citrix uh, representing uh, virtualization, Cloudera. We had a uh, what would be an end customer, for example, like a Morgan Stanley type. Uh, so this is Morgan Stanley that came in to share their views. And we also uh, showcased uh, some hardware uh, based on XGene, which is a 64-bit uh, server on chip. But is it? Uh, I mean, last year. You just talk, uh, announced it, right? So <clears throat> what we did last year was we announced the fact that we were doing ARM. We also announced uh, last year that uh, we had some pieces working, actual hardware. We booted Linux on, uh, on ARM 64-bit uh, um, hardware that we had, but that's all we had working. This year we have a lot more working, a lot of software ported, we have a lot of more stable hardware, a lot of uh, networking bits uh, added to it, and that's... Uh, so what is, what is here? What is this? So what you see here is a, a, a what's called a sled, uh, based on Dell. Uh, Dell uh, uh, chassis, which is a, 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 a chassis based on uh, Dell data center uh, group. And what you see here are uh, see, one, two, three, four, five, six X genes on a single motherboard. So those are X genes. Yes. Uh, These are ARM 64-bit uh, SOCs, fully integrated server on chip. They have uh, high performance cores uh, running up to 2.4 gigahertz and they have other things as well here. Uh, I'm not allowed to disclose the details of this slide, however, this is what you see. And uh, what is, is this uh, something else? Uh, yeah, this is, this is a different one. This has got nothing to do with Dell. This is our own, uh, what we call X storage. X storage is uh, a storage card which has a massive amounts of disks. In this case, we have 36 terabytes of uh, uh, capacity of disks, uh, all handled by a single uh, uh, SOC. That's again XGene, very similar to the other one that you saw. Uh, which is sitting over here, and it has a, uh, this, do, I can talk about the specs, uh, this one is a 10 gig uplink, uh, fully integrated in this chip as well. So that's kind of like awesome for hosting. This is, this is awesome for any kind of a, a, a storage environment, uh, distributed storage, like, yeah, like a video st storage like YouTube would be good. It's also good for anything that runs Hadoop, any um, uh, business intelligence, anything that has to do with um, analytics, uh, all of that would be a pretty good one for this. A site like, uh, like YouTube, a site like YouTube, do they have something like this today and just uh, x86 here instead, or is it only possible because of x86? Yeah, they have different types of architectures, but yeah, typically they, they it will look something similar where we have a bunch of hard drives handled by a single x86 or multiple x86s. So why are these small ones here and big ones? Uh, we just uh, showed different capacity. Uh, this is a three and a half uh, drive versus a two and a half drive, so we can fit either one. We just wanted to show that. Is this one? So this is uh, what we call X Compute. It's a uh, board uh, based on uh, four X genes. These are uh, the this yeah. chips under this uh, heat sink. Is heat sinks are X genes, which, which are ARM 64-bit uh, server on chips uh, from Applied Micro, from uh, my company. And so so how can how can these chips exist? We're in 2012, right? Yes. So this is the first ARM 64-bit that's kind of like taped out. So we haven't. Uh, so that's under NDA. We can't okay. talk about uh, the, those details. But to, to deliver a chip, there are multiple phases. There is uh, uh, there's test chips, there is uh, prototype chips, and then there's production chips. So in 2013, they will have systems uh, uh, with software, as I mentioned, uh, along with our system. And there's a uh, lab, there's Linux, uh, Apache, and all these uh, support. And uh, what, what kind of stuff are you doing there? Uh, so as I mentioned in my presentation today, uh, we have uh, quite a bit of software working. We have Linux working on it. Uh, we also have uh, Apache uh, web server. Uh, we have uh, showcased today uh, Hadoop and Memcache, uh, among several other software bits, uh, all working on XGene hardware. So what do you call it XGene? XGene is a family uh, of, of uh, products that we will have. It's uh, what we call a platform. Uh, there will be several implementations of XGene. The first one is here, which which, uh, which under here. We haven't disclosed the details of these chips yet because we haven't launched the product officially. 
the family is uh, called X-Gene. And it's named after, uh, uh, of course, the X-Men characters. But you couldn't, can you say, it's not Cortex A50. No, no, no. So, so how, well, how is it? How do you come, how, how do you it define it? Sure. Um, what Applied Micro is doing is we have implemented 64-bit ARM core from scratch. And so we took an architecture license from ARM. So we did our own implementation, a high-performance implementation of that, uh, of that spec. So it is not a license from ARM. It is, uh, it's a license of the architecture, but it is not a core license. Is it, uh, is the full spec of 64 bits uh, finalized? Like everything can be shipping ready or is it still some, uh, like in a year from now, what's going to be different? So the spec itself is final, which is, uh, by the way, 64 bit, uh, ARM 64 bit and V8 are the same. This, uh, V8 is called the name yeah. of the spec. Um, uh, the spec is final, so yeah. that and that is uh, ready uh, for for anybody to implement. All right, so that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. ARM part servers, absolutely. Uh, you know, everything is ARM uh, today. Everyone is talking about ARM. Um, ARM servers are new; it's new frontier. Uh, up till now, there hasn't really been much competition. Uh, now we are starting to see uh, people slowly announce. Uh, um, ARM-based uh, uh, solution. So yeah, this is going to be a big deal in the next couple of years. I think you're going to see server landscape changing quite a bit. For the cloud? Uh, I, I think it's going to start with the cloud first. Uh, it's going to change. It's uh, morph into enterprise and other uh, areas uh, one by one. But I think cloud will be the first adopters uh, of, the, uh, of ARM implementation.